today we will discuss the OLS ordinary least square method how to you uh, calculate OLS in stata and uh, how to interpret the results in stata uh, or output of OLS in stata so first of all we use a hypothetical data set from uh, stata memory that is automobile market data sets and the price of a automobile or a car uh, which uh, factors are responsible uh, to increase price of a car or uh, uh, we will check now in this model so how to form model the command of OLS is very simple methodology that is a rate is a reg small reg reg is the uh, wireless command now our dependent variable is price the price of a automobile or a car depends on <coughs> miles per gallon mpg of uh, uh, per gallon of fuel and then weight of car length of car uh and and the type of car that is i dot uh foreign there are two types of car foreign and domestic we are set a operator that is i because this is a dummy variable uh foreign uh, if uh, foreign then one otherwise zero then we will check and to interpret continuous variable impact of continuous variable on our dependent variable and also <clears throat> we will check uh, the price, the, uh, the comparison of the price of foreign and uh, domestic car. So from this equation, we, uh, we, we, we will check that uh, when we will regress that pri uh, regress price on miles per gallon fuel, weight, length, and the type of car. So now we press enter, we have to get the results. There is a number of observations is 74. If statistics is very high, that is 21.01. .01. So model specification um, uh, and probability uh, is zero, zero. That means model is, uh, uh, is, is, is good. And R squared is also, uh, 0.54 that is 54 percent explained on uh, 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 by of uh, mpg weight length and uh, type of car so uh, so uh, so in this case we we can interpret how we, we try to interpret the uh, impact of uh, the independent variable on dependent variable here we regress price on MPG weight length and foreign. Now, first of all, we will interpret MPG. MPG miles per gallon. If uh, is uh, the coefficient is uh, minus thirteen, T statistics is very low. When T statistics is very low, uh, T the value of T that is minus point zero point one nine. When the T value of a covariate is very low, that means that uh, that that is uh, that means uh, the the impact of uh, that covariates will be uh, insignificant. In this case, for MPG, we have to find that T value is very low, and this is the uh, this is the uh, insignificant impact. So we we find that there is no significant impact of miles per gallon on price. Then the weight, the car weight. If the car weight increases by um, by one pound, then the price will go up by five point seven one uh, seven one dollar or anything, any 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 uh, currency. Okay, we are considering a dollar. So weight, if weight increases one, um, uh, one, um, one uh, pound, then the price will go up by 5.71 uh, dollars. 
and then the length if car length increases and this is weight is very significant and t value is 5.63 there is a strong impact of weight on car there is a positive relationship between car price and the car weight if car weight increases then the price will also increase the length the next query it is the length if there is a negative relationship if length increases car length increases the price will go up and this is a significant this is the one percent uh, uh, level of significance uh, so at these statistics is, is also medium and so um, when length increases the price will uh, go down that that means demand will go down that is this is the problem due to car parking when the uh, car parking uh, uh, car uh, inches and 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 length is measured in inches so uh, one inch increases then the price will go down by 92.480 dollar so uh, so uh, so uh, this is the due to uh, it's maybe due to the parking problem when the length of car is uh, larger there is a parking problem so people will prefer uh, prefer um, uh, the small car because it is easier to park in a uh, in a roadside and then the phone in so foreign and there is a two type of car is a domestic and foreign if domestic then zero otherwise uh, foreign is one so this is a dummy variable so in this case foreign uh, dummy foreign dummy so oh, here we get also a strong t statistics and uh, this is the uh, highly significant uh, value significant question uh, value and this means that the average price of foreign car is greater than the domestic car that that implies three thousand five hundred five zero point one nine four dollar is uh, the price of sorry the price of foreign car is uh, three thousand five hundred fifty dollar much more than the domestic uh, car uh, the price of domestic car so the price of uh, the average price of foreign car is much higher than the domestic um, uh, car. So in this class, we also try to understand that whether the uh, whether the model is uh, uh, if no, no if uh, there in this model is the heteroscedastric problem. How to avoid the heteroscedastric problem? So we will uh, uh, write the command in command box similar command and then comma then we will write b c e and r o b u s t robust so here we have to standard error but in this case when the model has a uh, heteroscedastic problem we do not checking here heteroscedastic we will discuss it in the next class so we will write down b c e robust so we will get this. Now we will to check whether the model has a multi coronality problem or no. In this case, we just write small p i f value of uh, sorry v i f. Then we will get the v i f. You can say the v i f of m p g weight length is mass higher than this is greater than of uh, two. We will try to. Um, uh, try to uh, try to um, select the covariates whose BIF less than two. Here, three variables has uh, the BIF greater than three, greater than two. That is MPG weight and length. If these variables are not uh, 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 there. Is a, is a BIF is greater than two. That means there is a multi colonality. And to check this, uh, there is a correlation between uh, the independent variables. So there will be no more to specification. We'll discuss it in the later uh, classes. But, uh, but now we, we can check it, PWCORR, that is the correlation between independent variables. So we'll write 
So we'll select all the uh, independent variables and then, sorry, uh, so operator factor variable is not allowed. So here we can write here. You can see the miles per gallon and weight has a highly, uh, highly correlated, uh, that is uh, uh, miles and weight depends, miles per gallon. You, you know when the car is very high, a heavy car, there is, will be the miles is very low. There is a relationship between the miles per gallon and weight. So miles per gallon is a function of car weight. So the weight and miles per gallon has a correlation and this and the and the heavy correlation. Similarly, length when length is high, miles will be low. So miles per gallon is a uh, is is a function of weight length. Uh, and also you can say that length and weight is also a uh, correlated variable. So uh, there is a strong correlation between uh, MPG and uh, weight length and also uh, between MPG and weight length and weight and length. So in this case, we want to avoid, we should we, we avoid the uh, correlated very independent variables, uh, which creates a multi community problem. And this will be the, so there will be a model specification problem. So it will be discussed in the later cases, how to avoid this model specification, model specification and uh, how to uh, um, avoid multi quantity heteroscedasticity, or simply how to we, 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 we discuss the model specification. Today, I have understand that how, today uh, we try to understand how the, the continuous variable impacts on the continuous variable and how to interpret the dummy variable in the ordinary yeast way. So next class, we will discuss uh, the, uh, discuss the, uh, the model specification. Thank you.